We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Spring Mills Cardinals, Marcus Law. Coach Law, your team gets a home playoff game and a victory in that game over Spring Valley. Just walk us through that game. Oh, man. Uh, First of all, the excitement uh, of the atmosphere for the game was was amazing. I thought our student section and uh, just the community itself. Yeah, I showed a lot of love to come out and watch us. Uh, the, uh, the game itself it jumped off, and they kind of got the first score, our first couple scores there. And, and again, just kind of how our team has been off all year long is, uh, you know, we, we faced adversity, adversity pretty well. Uh, they didn't hang their heads; they kind of fought their way and called back into it. Uh, come up with a couple big time plays from uh, Xavier Anderson and, and Max uh, to get those couple scores and give us a fourteen to ten lead. And then um, jumping into the second half, there we were fortunate enough to get a few more points to, to give us that uh, twenty to um, seventeen lead there. Um, defensively, those guys played the hats down. Um, anytime you can get Coach Hessen and his guys that get those boys going, it, I feel like it always kind of gives us a chance to to be within any kind of game we uh, we're in. But overall, excellent job from our guys. Uh, and again, just that was just great for everyone involved. Week by week, you continue to learn more and more about your team. What is something new that you learned about your team in this win against Spring Valley? Well, one of the things that we kind of looked at was how we've handled, like you can say, the pressure of uh, having that first um, home playoff game or um, basically going for that first time or second win in school history. And they handled all the outside pressure very well. And that's, that's something that I thought we struggled with at times especially with the nerves of the, um, of the first game of the year. Um, it was very nice to see them be able to handle the outside pressure. Now this week you guys have a road test against the number two team in the state, the defending state champions as well, that being Huntington. Let's break down this matchup. What have you seen from Huntington's offense? Offense, oh, they're fast. <laughs> they're very fast. They, um, they have elite athletes over there. Um, they do a good job pushing the ball vertical, um, some screen games here and there. Um, they're running back. He, he's another kid. If you don't rally to him and secure those tackles, uh, you could be watching him at the other other side of the end zone there uh, on a nice long run. So we'll definitely have our work cut out as far as keeping those guys in check and then try to limit the things that they want to do. How about their defense? Defense, big up front. Um, that's one thing to take some pride in. Very good size of um, nose tackle. They jump in between the odd stack and the uh, forefront there. Um, which it's nice for us because it's very similar to what our defense runs as well. Um, but, again, they have those elite skill guys in the back that kind of try to keep everything in front of them. So, very talented. And last but not least, how about their special teams? Anything that jumps out to you about that side of the ball, too? Oh, speed. <laughs> again, that's kind of their thing. Uh, they're number five, number 11. They're um, all state um, athletes back there. So it's going to be important that we uh, not only cover the ball, but we're very particular where we're placing that football. You mentioned their speed. Do you feel like you have the speed to match up with it? If yes, uh, just kind of go along with it. If not, maybe what are some things that you do to try to counter that speed? Well, I think the biggest thing as far as when you look at team speed, uh, having leverage and containment is also the, the easiest fix to that. Um, I mean, I think as far as the speed part of it, we, we match up fairly well, but they just seem to have a couple guys who, if you're not aware where they are at all times, you can find yourself in a bad situation as far as leverage is concerned. So it's just a small thing we need to do to make sure we put ourselves in a good position. A road game that's almost six hours away. How, how tough is it to kind of prep for that trip because of the fact that you guys haven't had one like that this year? Well, and you're right. The closest thing we had was to university, which is only like two and a half some hours. Um, and that's where we kind of uh, lean on Coach Hassan and his experience. And I've had some experience as far as like basketball, making these long trips. And just the small things that kind of go along with it as far as like the hotel stays and the food and finding places to get a quick walk through and stuff in. Um, those things we seem to have run pretty smooth just based off Coach Hassan and my experience on what, we need, what needs to be taking place. I mean, that's the last thing we want from our kids and having to worry about that thing, about those particular things and just focus on the game itself. And then for the game you guys will be playing Saturday afternoon, does that kind of add a difference as well as playing on a Saturday afternoon instead of a Friday night? Yeah, that's definitely something to to look at, um, being a factor there, because typically around that time, 
mostly Friday they're they're in the school, but it is a different time of day, so it's going to be important that we're up and moving around and trying to get ourselves motivated. It's the last thing we need to come out that flat footed, but we figure that's kind of the best thing to give us um, just a little extra time to get one more little bit of prep in there. We were told for that game last week that you guys were without Alex Eaton due to a concussion. How is he doing? How's the team doing for healthiness wise? Looking at that aspect and give us an update. Yeah, um, this week we're fortunate enough. We'll, we'll have everyone back. So last week, well, like you said, we were down without Alex and actually Cross again. Um, both those guys are back in full force, and um, it's kind of after like you know going to a game this magnitude to have everyone um, on your roster ready to roll. So uh, looking forward to having those guys back. What's your team need to do to pull off the upset, Coach? Uh, offensively, like I say all the time, we talked about in our film studies, just staying ahead of chain game. Um, you to play them, find themselves at first and 15, second and 20. It's hard to do when you've got a team of that magnitude, no defending champs. So staying ahead of the chain, make sure we route to the ball and know where certain guys are at. We'll definitely put ourselves in a good opportunity. All righty, Coach. Anything else about the game? If not, we'll get to the fun question for this week. Um, no, I think I got that part. All right, our fun question for this week for the coaches is: uh, What's your all-time favorite football movie, and why? Oh, oh, that's oh man. <laughs> um, I'm really torn between the program. Uh, that's that's what the program show my age a little bit. Um, and any given Sunday, so I'm I'm really torn between the two. Interesting. Why those two? I, we actually uh, I talked with Coach Hunter as well, and he said the program too. I don't know, just some of the things that I've kind of seen, like my favorite character is Lattimore, and you got to watch a guy who's willing to do anything, and then it's just so many different components, at least with football from back then, that it kind of bring to light. But, yeah, it's, I guess my favorite character was him, just watching this guy, that football-hungry guy who's willing to do whatever. All righty, Coach Law, appreciate the time as always, and good luck Saturday against Huntington. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coach.